Warning! Not for the easily offended or the pussy hearted. You have been warned. Oh, just went stop. back to. No. Uh, <laughs> You're telling me you yeah. woke up from death and what you did in front of everybody was just laugh <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh yeah. man, I would love to die and come back and do that, dude. That's great. How long are we gonna let white people get away with saying the word vinegar? <laughs> Cuban people, I'm Cuban. Cubans uh, will give you a big face based on the one thing you absolutely hate about yourself. So my parents had a friend growing up that I still don't know his name. I just know that they call him Coro Luce. All the people at last are Spanish. For the gringos in here, I'll tell you what that means. It means sweet butts. And he wasn't even gay, it was because he had memory surgery. <laughs> Baby had in the paper and I called it. Holy shit, it's the actual escape! <laughs> Alright, so you just, I fucking hate dating apps. You gotta meet people a little fashion way. Bars, barbecues, church functions. That's why I met my significant other in church function. I'm full of shit, her sister sucked my dick. <laughs> and they're both really good at their craft. So I have a theory that it's genetics, I hope. And that means I have to do the unthinkable. And let the mom do her thing. <laughs> and if the mom's not that good, well, I'm just not ready to have a beard on my ball sack yet. <laughs> This is a PSA to all the women out there. A period has never stopped anything but a sentence. So fuck your shark week. Come here, my little Heinz bottle. I'm gonna please you in 57 different varieties. What the fuck is up, Tampa Bay? Ah! Not only have I taken over this fucking douchebags podcast, I kicked him the fuck out of my bank, too. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. I was peeing next to this black guy at work the other day. It made me angry. I'm a looker. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm gay, but it does mean I like to look over the stall and see what you're working with, Daddy. I'm just out of curiosity. Scotty cheated that Scotty one. Chi, thank you. I shoved a banana up my ass. C-U-N-T, C word. I lost. And I got suspended, because the judge was a cunt. What was your favorite movie of mine? Did you recall any movies I did that you thought were good? Did some light right now. All right. Mm. I love mm. when a woman tells me what's happening. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't consent to this bullshit. We're on Revenge of the Sith of uh, the episode of the uh, podcast now, guys. Episode three. Oh, yeah. Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. What was that, Rick? I can't wait to crash the Millennial Falcon. The Millennial I thought Falcon. You drove the, I thought you drove the Peanut Butter Falcon. I <laughs> wish. If I did, I'd be carrying your ass around. Yeah, you butterscotch <laughs> falcon. <laughs> Man, Manny, can we make it through five minutes in an episode before you light up so we can make some money off of it? <laughs> no. I'm already sparked no. up too, Daddy. No. Snoop Dogg can do it. All right, so can I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I won't be surprised if I become demonetized on YouTube very soon. <laughs> That's all right. They'll get over it. Just yeah, put it. a fucking blur on my box the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> just it's just the, the first five minutes. Out. It's just the first five minutes. 
Yeah, okay. it's not it's not bad. I mean, like we could just tell them that you're smoking a cigarette. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bad. It's a cigarillo. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a game blunt. Right. Right, it's a game game cigarillo. We already, already found the, we already found the episode name for the third one. It's a cigarillo. Man, Manny's blurry box. Manny's Let's go. Box. Well, you know th- this as this will be the third episode named after Manny. So I think Manny's had had enough of his fair share. Of, yeah, yeah. He's got to break up. So it's got so it's got to be the, one of the three of us. I can't have all the attention, man. That's not fair. Yeah, I I, I get I'm blessed, but <laughs> black, black, black. blessed. Nah, yeah. dude, you said black. You said molested, actually. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> with a hard R at it. It's so funny because the other day, like I told that set, you know the the really fucked up one. And I got off stage and I'm like. Was that kosher? Was that cool or whatever? And the comic, I'll show her man unnamed. She goes, Manny, you are black, all right? I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, well, you said you're like something percent. I'm like, 12% African. I'm not black, though. Like, you wouldn't call Elon Musk black, but he's South well, African. He's South hey, African. when did this happen? So- Sunday. Sunday, side splitters. I told the whole I- bit about social media during slavery, and I just Ironic. like making sure, like, I don't want to offend anyone. And she goes, no, you're fine. But her whole thing was, I consider all uh, Spanish Islanders to be black anyways. I'm like, I just want to say, you look it's confused. ironic <laughs> how on a Sunday, somebody who looks like a Muslim terrorist makes a joke about kosher. Hey. <laughs> Team Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> I am there, there goes my YouTube channel. Yeah. No, I, yeah, no, 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 no. I can be honest. It wasn't gone honest, before. Honest, I, I have no idea what's going on nope. there. Now this video is about to get like 10 million views, and Sky is going to make all the money from it. Hey. But that's what I've been saying all along. So now we're Body cheese. I just thought it was really funny how like six months ago we were all like, Who are Kanye you? West is the reincarnation of Hitler. Now oh, all of a sudden everyone's like, yeah. fuck them Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man. Normally, I wouldn't go there with a ten foot pole, <laughs> but I personally, I've been a little more Palestine than most <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Couldn't tell by looking at you, Manny. <laughs> I mean, you I look it's fucked up. You, you look Palestinian, though. So I just think the whole situation is what th- three, th- three, four thousand years of fucked up. <laughs> I think the situation is more complicated. I mean, haven't the Jews had enough already? I mean, six million? Come on, man. I don't know, man. It's a lot. Look, okay, hold on a second. Everyone's shitting on the Russians right now, but the Russians historically and statistically had it five times worse. Not because Stalin killed 30 million people, but because he allowed 30 30 million people to fucking die from famine and starvation. But for some reason, 30 million is not as impressive as Hitler being just an absolute fucking monster. It's just not, it, you can't, you can't outdo it. You can't outdo it. And there's I just like to point out that's why we're going to get banned is because we have one intelligent fucking person on this podcast. And there's 75, <clears throat> ge- and there's 75 genders still. And five plus. Well, all I'm saying is, 12. all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, Hitler did 20% of the kills. That's a fucking F in school. But still, that motherfucker passed with flying colors. <laughs> I just want to... Go, go ahead. I'll take. I'll take. Too much. <laughs> no, no, no. Because Not really. I got to say, Not you know, say, say what you will about Florida, the state in which we all live in. Mm-hmm. Did you guys know that there's currently a bill on the House floor for the state of Florida that makes it legal to punch actual swastika wearing Nazis in the face? No shit. Oh, fuck yeah. That would be yeah. awesome. That'd be cool as shit. I support that 100%. Especially oh, uh, because you with- realize these people are worshipping a meth-addicted chomo. Yeah, yeah, yes. Like, Who married my mind. underage fucking cousin. Yeah. My, okay, my, might I add. Sweet Home Hitler. Alabama and the fucking Third Reich. Fuck Hitler. Or whatever. Fuck Hitler, fuck the Nazis. I feel like I have to say that after right. I just give out that fun fact of, oh, fucking, Stalin killed more people. That's the episode, Sweet, Hall- Sweet Home Alabama and the Third Reich. <laughs> that's, that's awful. More like homegrown in Alabama. All, all I know is I just want to dress, I just want to dress Rick up as Hitler. I want to comb his hair. 
put a little mustache on him. You you would be a good Hitler, bro. The guy would call him live show. You gotta call him. Gotta call him Spickler. Spickler. It's too late. <laughs> What's it been done already? <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> what what the word or you you as Hitler? Wait, you, do you like dress up as Hitler like on a regular occasion without us knowing? Well, there may be this gathering that happens in Dover, Florida, that I may or may not have been a part of. Gathering of Jethalos? Gathering of fucking Nazis? I can't answer any more questions. You, <laughs> hey, you got you got to keep going, bro. And you guys expect to hear some shit like that from me? I mean, like, I'm do excited. you? I mean, is the SS in Russo something to do with? Well, Russo is Spanish for Russian, so yeah. keep going. <laughs> Are you on Storm Poop? I'll give you a hint. There's a lot of white guys there. The Fourth Reich? Do they have a thing for white linen sheets? Golf? Where you oh, are they in the cool? Are they in the <laughs> cool kids club? Were you all spelled with all K's? Cool did kids you, club. Did you go go karting or something? Well, I know. Did you make a video where you trolled the Ku Klux Klan? Did you troll yeah, the Ku Klux dude. Klan? I did. Mm, where you is did. it? Where is it? You can't see it yet. Wait, was this <laughs> oh, it's being made right now? Uh-huh. It's okay, made. so we have a teaser. Next yeah. time this happens, can I go with you and be your like SS bodyguard? We're also about to launch a reality show called Date that black guy <laughs> where it's one single black male and 40 <laughs> bitches. Oh my god, and you know, one of them thinks they're gonna get married. Who's know, the black guy? Is the black guy T. Happily Davis? Happily ever after. Is, is it uh-huh. T. Davis as the eligible bachelor? I don't know, whatever that guy that <laughs> fucked Adam 22's girlfriend. He's just like, he's like, man, I don't want none of these bitches. <laughs> Fucking. What? Shout out all twelve of you out there that get that reference. <laughs> I got the reference. I just kept thinking Andrew Kate for some reason, but I remember Andrew shitting all over it. No, did yeah. you Dude, Andrew... he's so bad? At... Oh my god! I would never want Andrew to see him Kate just converted because... to Islam. Get the fuck out of here! Not surprised. Well, like he's like militant Islam now. Both him and his brother. That just goes okay. to show you what this happens all... when somebody you know, who is. Is okay. That just shows you somebody who is racially ambiguous what happens every time they go to prison. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. I knew I knew a lot of people that went to prison and, and they came back very religious. Oh, big time. Well, something yeah, crazy. But if you're racially like ambiguous, majority... you always end up coming back Islamic. I didn't well, know anybody statistically it speaking. But statistically speaking, it is technically the biggest religion in the world. Christianity yeah. is still. By, by in a, terms of by a margin of followers, by a margin. Hold on, let's a margin, not Pull a it up. not by much. <laughs> hey, we're gonna fucking Jamie this like the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, dude. Hold on, we have hey Jamie, Jamie go ahead and pull that for us. Jamie's got the best job, just fucking Google searching. What a G! <laughs> I fucking pulled that number out of my ass. There's 2.4 billion uh, Christians in the world. How many? Um, how, how many towel heads? Whoa! <laughs> Only other taking showers, guy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The reflections I, of Scotty Chi and his opinions on Muslim I, people do not I, reflect the rest of the guy. Of the Google I podcast. have a no. I have a big audience. Like, in, okay. literally, okay. I swear to God, okay. from Pakistan, I can show you my analytics. I'm like, why? I'm such an asshole. They are going okay. to like Islam these, is. Guys. Islam is the second largest religion in the world after Christianity. With over of course it is, because Jesus is in that too. However, Jesus, 33 right. times, daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, let's talk about how fucked up the prison system is in, the, in America. Well, more Islam and diet how bombing. Actually. More Islam, more, no, I'm not even going to say Islamic, more brown people get arrested than white people. Yeah, so and I would numbers. bet to say, that the, all the Christians that are probably in like OG Christians didn't start white in prison. Yeah, maybe. Now Except look up Latin the numbers. Kings. Now look up the number of. Islam. I'm I'm getting high already. Well, you, you need to look. You too. <laughs> well, look at look up the number of Muslims there would be if they didn't blow well, themselves up. Well, do you know how? No, I'm okay. Do you know? <laughs> 
do you know how not racist the Titanic is? Because no black people died on the Titanic. Because there weren't Bro. any on the boat. I know. <laughs> Did you know yeah. that the I mean, technically the, 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 the blacks on the Titanic were technically the Irish. If you think about it. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. It's it's so true. <laughs> true. You mix, it's... fuck! Yeah, Pretend you're wood and let me float get, on you. Why don't you let me go on the uh, on the fucking life road, you stupid bastard? <laughs> that was more Scottish, but okay. That sounded yeah, more dude. Indian. <laughs> that was like a weird mix of Indian and Scottish. That was more Indian than to be on the motherfucking titles. boat, please? Oh, I'm going to sue you now. Bro, fun fact. Did you know the pool on Titanic is still filled with water? The what? what? The what? The swimming pool in the Titanic, it's still filled with fucking water. That's crazy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> One try. And hammerhead sharks, too. I do want to do a sketch of us they, as the... Uh, they still serve fish nightly. I want to do the Gabagooligans as Never us is. on the on the, uh, the, the uh, Sea Ocean Gate Titanic uh, submarine where we... Are about to meet our dooms, but we're all like making it a really funny, like slapstick sketch. Oh, I know exactly. <laughs> like the Marx oh. Brothers or something like that. If we had like, what are we going to do a comedy dive? Yeah. I would... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I was stuck on that and I knew I only had like moments left to live, had to. The first I'd underwater start... podcast. Yeah. I just start jerking it. Yeah. I'd just start of course. jerking it immediately. Absolutely. You know you want to bust one of us up before we die. Oh, Rick, I, I don't know about you guys. I'd have sex with Rick if I knew I was gonna. <laughs> I mean, die, if I was gonna get crushed. Oh, if I we like were all about to die, I'm pretty sure we'd all try and fuck each other. Yeah. Oh, I'll watch him. Going the right off. for me. You no, know, like how we said in the last one. You know, Rick was gonna be eating Manny's ass. I was gonna be reading eating Rick's ass, and you're gonna be eating my ass. We're gonna be a little like, uh, centipede. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Anthony's yeah. just gonna be jizzing on us. Yeah. <laughs> Monster rain. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Hulk poster on your wall? That is a Hulk poster, I see. Anthony? I had to add some nerd shit. I got a Hulk poster. Is that, is that yours? How about Ric Flair uh, walking uh, off uh, Kill uh, Tony like man. a pussy? I Fucking got an Rick Undertaker b- directly behind my head, that white thing right there. That's uh, an uh-huh. Undertaker poster. Question. question. I got, I, got, you... I got Anthony Rowan right on my wall, too, and myself. <laughs> oh, shit, you do? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, why I, like, do you have the why 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 the Punisher tattoo? What's the reason? Um, it's not because of the reason I look. Uh, okay. Oh, oh nice, Rick. Oh, 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 we're a fan of Frank Castle. Yes, oh, my very God, much so. And ignore the fact that there's ammo cans and gun cases and, and a blue behind line me. flag behind you, bro. Well, my father-in-law's a cop. Okay, that's so you, it, you know you know the irony, right? Yeah, I, I'm people very, that worship I'm, that blue line are listen, not people Frank Castle like. I'm also very aware of the fact that I have a fuck around find out tattoo, and apparently, uh-huh. Uh-huh. that is a uh, gang now. All of a sudden, fuck around and fuck? find out. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, dude, my baby mama. Can you, you imagine all the tattoo? Can you imagine somebody got an MS13 tattoo before the gang? <laughs> Look, I'm a big Before they I'm came, a big fan. A thing. I'm a big fan of motorsports. My number's uh-huh. 13 on my dirt bike. <laughs> MS13, bro. I don't see what the big deal is, anyways. Raise hell, praise Dale. Yeah. It's Ooh. like that uh it's like that ongoing bit from Clerks 2. He's just gonna take back Porch Monkey. I fucking love that so much. That is one of my favorite movies. I don't care what yeah, Yes, it says. is. How are you doing, little Porch Monkey? Dude, <laughs> and Wanda Sykes was in that and lost her shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> Kinky Kelly and the Sexy Stud. Kelly could be a man's Pickle. name. <laughs> Pickle fucker. <laughs> My favorite thing about Clerks oh, 3 was when uh, that little fucking Jesus nerd was now satanic. That was hilarious. Yes. Oh, uh, fuck. What's his name? Ah, oh, shit. Um... Nah, whatever. Nah, but wow. nah, Clerks was good. Rick, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, I got so baked. I think I smoked way too much. You know what? I mean, my yeah. eyes are definitely red. Give me a little bit of that. Damn it, Karina, just hit me a fucking pretzel. 
I got a second blunt too. I'm in trouble. My wife just threw a pretzel at me. Fucking eat it. Eat it, bitch. What's up? Just eat it. Just eat, eat it. it. Eat it. Oh. Yeah. Take you guys excited for this Halloween away. season? Yes. yes. You mean Thoughtmas? Thoughtmas. I love Thoughtmas Halloween. Prime. Is that because no. all the chicks are showing their pussies? Yes, yeah, it's Thoughtmas. It's Christmas for fucking whores. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's also my kid's fourth birthday. Whoop dee doo. Oh, your your kid was born on Halloween. Yes, sir. That's cute. Four twenty-four a.m. She was four minutes late, like a good stoner, like I was to this <laughs> podcast. Hell yeah! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You know, I yeah. I saw a video today. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't you. And I realized why <laughs> I should not become rich doing stand-up. <laughs> what, are you going to become the new Bert and Tom? Has anybody ever heard of a band called Steel Panther? I love Steel oh, Panther. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Come on, dude. Dude, Sh- Sean did fucking what Fat Girl on karaoke. <laughs> I, I just saw the music video of her party like tomorrow's <laughs> the end of the world. Yeah, they're wild, bro. I, I'm 100% convinced that's why I will not fun. ever be rich. <laughs> Also, I would like to point out, how the fuck did they get away with showing that many titties on YouTube? Because it's allowed. Well, your mom's house just came out with a new series with Dr. Drew where it's instructional educational videos. And naked ass people in the video, they show how to do breast exams and testicle exams. Hmm. I hope that one girl with the big tits is in it. I don't know. Did you see uh, Tom Christina, Segura? Sure. Did you see Tom going all uh, Karen on American Airlines because he was putting coach? Yes. What a fucking asshole. There's been That's a lot right. of videos that have like surfaced That's with okay. people saying how much of a douche him and Bert have become. We uh, all make mistakes. We all know. They I mean, make mistakes. We all know they're douchebags, but I mean. My favorite one was Tom's <sighs> rant about poor people's mentality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. He was totally serious too. Like, I don't think so. I think he does a lot. Of, uh, <laughs> no, he was very serious in it. And then it, when it cuts to Bert, you can see he was uncomfortable in that moment. Listen, I remember watching it going, awful. "Oh, this is <laughs> this was a little awkward." And then all you these videos came out with conspiracies. And and conspiracies came out. And I'm I mean, like, with I mean, without, without Joe, I mean, without Joe Rogan, you know, Tom would be. I mean, he's he'd be a, he'd be a still a great comic, but he wouldn't be as successful as he is now. Without Joe yeah. Rogan, Tom would without Joe Rogan, Tom would be dead in a ditch somewhere from a fucking heroin overdose. Let's call a fucking spade a spade here, boys. Tom Segura, yes, a heroin overdose. Uh, Tom you did didn't know that. Whole, didn't wasn't know that his heroin. whole fucking drug of choice that he was fucking wasted on all the time back then? I didn't know Tom did heroin. And he even had oh. like a real bad addiction problem or something. That was my what. favorite. Um. Two years on Thursday, boys. Hey, hey, Jamie, go ahead and fact check that for wait, me. You're on, wait, you're oh, on. Wait, you I'm working heroin, on it. Rick? Yeah. No shit. Two, two years clean win. Uh, this Thursday. Fuck yeah, dude. That's oh, awesome. Fuck yeah. fuck yeah, man. No opiates, dude. Or cocaine. I used to do them at the same time and the same shot. You like what the, the fuck? Damn, damn, you like the Artie Lang of Tampa Bay? <laughs> Just your nose is yeah. kind of fucking fucked up. Yeah, dude. It's uh, I don't know. Comedy helped do a lot for me. That's Hell for yeah, sure. Bro. Hell yeah, brother. I'm proud of you. Thanks, daddy. Oh, anytime, baby. I just want to know what that high's like because wow, it feels dude. like it would just level you out. I heard it's an or I heard it's like a I heard it's like an orgasm, like a body orgasm. Yeah, like for eight hours. It's like if the Lord gave you this big warm hug all over, and this sensation took over, and you just were everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not to uh, not to rip off another comedic genius, but I think I might want to try me some of that heroin. Mitch Hepburn? <laughs> no, uh, Dewey Cox walk hard. Oh. No, Dewey, <laughs> you don't want to do heroin. <laughs> uh, it's not on habit forming. Oh man! <laughs> now, what do you have for Jamo? I did hear the heroin does not affect your organs. Your bull. That's what, what Artie. About what that's that's what Artie Lang said. You're gonna take the word of a dude. I was constipated a, of a leather comedian over an entire scientific community. You know what, Manny? 
I was constipated for over a month. At <laughs> hey, I was days. nice. I called him a beloved comedian, okay? He is a beloved comedian. <laughs> yes, I think I'm we... excited that he's doing comedy again. Yes, me I think, too. I he's think fucking we awesome. found the name of this episode. What? Rick Russo's Heroin Diaries. Oh. <laughs> It's it's very no. it's very clickbaitable. Then again, I don't want basketball you know, diaries. I don't want to fuck your reputation up or anything like that, bro. It's not. I talk about it constantly. He talks oh, about really? it on stage. You do. Yeah. Oh, he blows up his own spot, of... bro. Oh Jesus! I, I fucking how... do you not yeah. pay attention to yeah. any of us doing fucking stand up. I do. No, There's so much. Really so, many, so many jokes. You didn't even say that convincingly. Nah. <laughs> What's my favorite joke that or your favorite joke that I tell? When I was funny, I died enjoying As he drinks white water, drink. Wait, no, your your, fa- your favorite joke that I that, that I like? Uh huh. The gym short one. Really, I love that joke. It's hilarious. What's your oh. favorite joke of mine? Uh, your one of your old ones that you should do as being Michael, be, be Michael J. Fox on stage, just like getting hit in the face with dicks and stuff with, with the microphone. Fair enough. I love <laughs> that joke. You need to bring that one back. My favorite is how you met your wife. How you, how you met your your lady. That's a good one, too. Thank you, thank you. Hey Rick, wow. I, I, hey Rick, I like the urinal one. Thank you. you it's a very yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of you being a white privilege and having skin of Max as a child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. My white trash ass couldn't afford that shit. Cinemax, oh, I baby. had it, and I took advantage of it. Yeah, I had friends with Cinemax. I bet you did. That's the bit, like I told the other day, the title. <laughs> Dude, the funny part was, my mom didn't even know what she had. Like, she just ordered uh, the Bright House, because she worked two jobs and raised me. So she was mm-hmm. just like, whatever bundle package is the best price. And we had like three or four HBO channels, and one of them, sure as shit, was fucking Cinemax, dude. Mm-hmm. I used See, to fuck we... the shit out of my couch, real talk, <laughs> and just bust all in between the cushions. Hell yeah. We now, how are... did you clean that up? <laughs> I just left it. Oh, I bet stunk. It's, oh, all crispy. It's, all, it's all crusty. It gets shit. a little crusty, and one that you you move a little over on the cushion, then you switch cushions. Oh, then you just throw the whole sheet in the fucking Richard. washing machine. You're good to go. New episode, t- new episode title: A Ricktastic Voyage. Ricktastic Voyage. We got, we got, we got a lot of options for this. Or movie. we could do three tops, one bottom. <laughs> Who's the bottom? <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> oh, Lucy. So, I also like the Dylan Klebold of comedy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so, my wife's been sitting that here the whole time. Brutal. Hilarious. She just handed me her, the her, ring I gave her. <laughs> well, fucking put, put it around my cock. Give me what a prince. That's Give way me a... too big. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Prince Albert, baby. Ooh. Wow. Are we witnessing a divorce live on this show? <laughs> Probably. She hopefully hopefully Miranda can't hear us. Oh. She, she she just says she can hear me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's all right. It's okay. You get a hall pass. I do. <laughs> this is a comedy podcast. You get a hall pass. I mean, originally it was almost started off as a political co- podcast with fucking Palestine and Hamas, and I didn't even, I don't even know how the fuck we got there. I don't know how we got there either. Here's the answer: our whole world fucked. My fault. Everyone's wrong, and that's it. Especially me. I have Especially no idea me. what I'm talking about. And no, APAC. just everybody. <laughs> We're all fucking retarded. The new sketch: mm-hmm. H- Hamas debate. <laughs> 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 It's oh like, my god. Like, Allah, Allah, Allah. <laughs> oh Hello? no. Hello? Hello? And as soon as you climax it's Allah, 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 Allah. and then just oh, and you're just god. watching videos of shit blowing up instead of and watching you, porn. Just you can only do it once. <laughs> but we whitewash we whitewash the explosions and make it look like cum. Oh, oh god. Do you, are Bro, you guys on are you guys on Twitter at all? 
button. Yeah, button. yeah I don't really and, uh, use it. Yeah, that, that's basically no. all what Twitter is now is just like dead fucking bodies on at at in, in Palestine, and I'm just like. I don't want to look at this. Can someone just like fucking slip on a banana these days and put it Whoa. on Twitter and say that's funny? <laughs> Apparently, in manga now in, in in Japan, they can't print red blood, so they had to print white instead. And it just changes the context of every scene entirely. <laughs> so it's so fucking weird. I have this bit that I want to do, but I, we're never in front of a young enough it. crowd to do it. Yeah, the get the, the gimmick, gimmick's very young. And it, it, it's about uh oh that'll probably be a good my fear to open up Twitter in public. Yeah. Who do you follow? How, how does it go? <laughs> so when I was big on TikTok, I made really good friends with this girl, Michelle yeah, Ray. Yeah, yeah. She had a big following too, and I didn't really know what she did at the time. Uh, but she's like a top notch OnlyFans model, like point zero zero one percent in the world. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'll follow you on Twitter, yeah. And then it's just boom, her getting railed out by a black dude. <laughs> and like oh. now that's like my Twitter feed. It's like NFL, wrestling, sports, sports, some gun NSFW. stuff. Somebody getting railed out. And it's <laughs> like <laughs> it's a crapshoot when I open up Twitter in public because either you're gonna hear machine gun fire or a woman choking on a cock. It's there's no Ooh, in between anymore. Yeah. Someone shooting a rail. Someone getting railed and someone snorting a rail. Someone, someone blowing I've never a load. Seen that on Twitter. Someone blowing a load. Someone blowing up a mosque. You know. Wow, there we go again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Put that thing monetization. I've and... seen more synagogue attacks on Twitter than I've ever seen on the news. So I mean, what? Oh uh, yeah, there. Twitter's a little more. Freaky yeah, t- Twitter's a dangerous place. I um I just have it just oh, to like just to X. look just to look it's X yeah now literally what? like my feed is basically that man has just, been obsessed with the letter X forever it's just Trump PayPal yeah Biden, PayPal when it first came out it was it was called X was it really and you can still, yeah you can still go to X dot com and it'll take you straight to PayPal yeah I'm pretty sure um, I don't want to go to X dot com I think before no no yeah son of a bitch. Ten more minutes left. I, I'll do it. The so autocomplete. So you know the to. autocomplete might be. Uh... No, now it's no, yeah, now it's obviously Twitter, but X dot com before used to be PayPal before he sold off his share. I did not know but that. He's always, yeah, he's always been obsessed with the letter X. Doesn't fucking Jeff Bezos own PayPal? Hey, SpaceX. No. Uh. I don't know. I- like Follow SpaceX on X Spaces, <laughs> <laughs> and then X Hamster. I also don't know what the fuck X, I'm talking about. X Videos, X Hamster. Rick, you look like a dark web uh, webcam video right now. I think I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You look like the Dylan Klebold of comedy confession video. Yeah. You look like the Parkland of comedy right now. Wow, uh, this is gold. Just watching me fucking find who owns PayPal. You what are you trying to find over there? Oh, this is interesting. PayPal owns Braintree, Venmo, Zoom, Zelle, I, this I Zelle, whatever. You look like yeah. the beginning of a fucking ISIS video. Like I'm just waiting to see Rick get beheaded. Yeah, I got Taliban video. You're just like, I just want to say, Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. I should not have gone to Iran. I just wanted to find. I just wanted to go find myself to my son, Raymond the Third. Kamesh. Kamesh. I don't fucking know. My son Aiden, you're a good boy. Don't even know what that means. Don't vape. Vaping's gay. Yeah, fucking beheaded. Yeah. I literally said baby's gay people? while I literally said baby's gay while I drink a white claw. Yeah, makes, yeah, per- dude, makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> FDR over cool. here. My butthole hurts. Well, I thought you called him hobosexual. Hobosexual. Let me rub it for you, boy. Dude, I blanked out for a second there because I hate this soundboard. I'm about to fucking shoot it with my gun. Oh uh, no! Don't do that. Don't do that, baby. Why? That's American. 
No. But, are, yeah, you, okay, are, are you spitting into a uh, brisk bottle, uh, Anthony? Maybe. No brisk plugs. Dude, you would be the guy to survive off brisk and no water. <laughs> no, actually, I drink a no. shit ton of water. Brisk, dominated. Gallons of 90s, brisk. Bro. Brisk. Yeah. Uh, uh, just gallons. Even Surge made a comeback. Did they? I wish I had come oh, yeah. way back. You can get Surge fucking... Rick! <laughs> anywhere now. <laughs> yeah. At least you get it, Scotty. I, I, what I, happened? I, I missed this. Scotty does know. know. I do know. Oh, shit. Now he's the only one that knows. We told Scotty. Oh, Blue Steel. Why'd you go uh, do that? Don't tell Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Blue Steel. <sighs> Dude, Zoolander was the shit. It really was. Was. The first sure. one was. Uh, first one, first the second one, one was sucked ass. I haven't even seen it. I love Dodgeball. I'm excited for Dodgeball too. That's gonna be really Dodger wrench. It's gonna, gonna be Dodger amazing. Ball. Are they really making that? Yeah. 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 What's the fuck? Underdogs won. They're gonna. They're, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna they're win again. A God damn it. Dude, so because Vince Vaughn's like a diehard Trumper, rematch. it's gonna be. Um, they lost everything in COVID. Yeah, <laughs> lost his gym to COVID. <laughs> They're doing a fucking Mean Girls sequel. Are they? No, really? you can't do. Listen, it's mean called Girls Mean. One... It's called it's called Mean Moms with Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, and dude, her uh, pussy's gonna be hanging out, dude. So like three long. of the three of the actors have been caught like photographed on a set together oh, doing so, like, coke. Oh. Mean Girls is one of my favorite movies of all time. I, I love that movie. It, Here's oh, the they're all, they're yes. all, yeah, they're all grown up now, and they're dealing with their kids in high school. You couldn't make that movie now because, no. like, one of the first scenes in that film, Lindsay mm-hmm. Lohan walks up to a bunch of black kids in a cafeteria <laughs> and says, Jumbo! Because that's Disney how you say hi with the African <laughs> tribe that she used to live with. Like, I mean, no, and then and then the beginning when the kids like on the third day, the guy invented the Remington bolt action <laughs> rifle so he can fend off the dinosaurs and the homosexuals. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> John can't uh, remake that now. Oh my god, no. that's fucking amazing. Just like the movie, just like the movie, the new guy. You can't do that. No, now you either. can't do that's a great movie, too, man. You mm-hmm. can do a lot. Yeah, you it's can't so do that cool. one. I mean, you can't get Hollywood Studio to fund it. <laughs> no, nope. you can't even do like Mike either because it's stereotypical that black people can jump high. You know, it's just like what the fuck. Well, I'll well tell you, you can what, jump high because you have Michael Jordan shoes. I know. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That motherfucker had superpowers. Yeah, those shoes smelled like fuck. <clears throat> How much time is left, Scotty? Four minutes and sixteen seconds. Damn, Listen, I could come twice in that long of a time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Those shoes smelled like disappointed single mother strippers and cigar smoke, okay? Let's be honest. Michael Jordan? And Texas hold them, dude. Yes. Dude, do you know the Michael Jordan conspiracy theory? Which one? Which one? About He's the dad's man. death? He what? His dad was killed because of his gambling debts. No, never heard of this one. Yeah, that's no. the conspiracy theory about Michael Jordan's dad's death. Is that he was killed because of Jordan's gambling debts. Get the fuck out of the day. He made a lot back, that's for sure. He's famous as a gambler, yeah. He's well known. But uh... hmm. I guess he's a worse gambler than Pete Rose. But oh, he has the all time villain arc of a story. He long conned Scottie Pippen so hard in their hatred and rivalry. That now his son is banging Scotty Pippen's wife. <laughs> Just like Dude, that's can't... okay. Future bit fuck that bitch too. Ha! <laughs> that's yeah, what that guys are, don't flip touch flop you. came from. Really? I just <laughs> fucked your bitch in some Gucci flip flops. I did not know that. He was talking about Scotty Pippen's wife. He clapped her ass out in a condo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't sports, so this is all news to me. Scotty Pippen's got that fucking ah. It's probably massive. It's just compared to the size of his body. Like Shaq uh-uh. could have a Shaq could have a three foot cock, but compared to Shaq's body, he looked like seen he was him hold like the me. water bottle. This is what he does. Look, 
It looks right. like this. This is him holding a water bottle. Have you have you seen uh, the Adam Sandler <laughs> t- 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 talking about how he wanted to see Shaq's penis in like the locker room? And he said he talked to some big uh, big black guard. And he said, "Oh, you can't come here while Shaq's taking a shower because he wanted to see his penis." And then he said, "Hey, Sha-, he's like, hey, Shaq, I'm sorry if you if I bother your guard." He's like, "Oh no, that wasn't my guard. That was my dick." <laughs> that's what or when yeah. pete davidson was doing the roast i forgot which one and kevin hart and Shaq were there yeah and kevin hart had just yeah. gone up and he's like it's nice to hear from Shaq's dick mm-hmm. yeah. it's pretty, uh, so funny pretty and true Shaq, Shaq is so unintentionally funny he told that story about you he used to live in the same building as stevie wonder when he played on the lakers <laughs> and he thought that Stevie Wonder was definitely not blind because Shaq got on the elevator and then yeah. he was going up and then Stevie Wonder gets on the elevator and then Stevie Wonder perfectly pushes the button for the floor he wants to be on and then two mm-hmm. seconds later he turns around and goes, what's up, Diesel? It's <laughs> funny. Did you, you guys know about the George Clooney playing pranks on his, on his friends? No. My favorite one is... Uh, George Clooney used to be roommate to Gilbert Gottfried. And Gilbert, yeah, Gilbert had a cat. What? So oh, George, George Clooney? Yeah, so what George did was oh. every day he would wake up and scoop the cat litter and clean the shit every single day for an entire month. One minute left, guys. Gilbert was, okay, Gilbert was scared that his cat wasn't shitting. So on the 30th day, George Clooney took a fat shit in the litter box and left it there for Gilbert to discover. <laughs> And he right. apparently waits for 30 minutes and goes, oh, my God. Okay, oh, my God. Out. Out. All right, I'm going to do a sound quick. Yeah. Do it. Um, just in case it's the last time we talk to Rick Russo, because it looks like he's, you know, hunkered down in a U.N. building. Well, Manny <laughs> and the rest of Al Qaeda is outside getting ready to make a siege on his life. Um, I'm Anthony Roan for Sky G, for Manny Gassett, for Richard Russo. We love you guys. Gabagooligans, I finally did a proper fucking outro. Suck a dick. Stay black. <laughs> this okay. is why we don't have an outro. Joey I'll Diaz. Press. Yeah, you're just in charge of outros from now on, Tony. I love it. Keep it black, Cox. Oh.